is going on boys and girls of youtube this is third day in a row i think this is where we start to like actually consider it part of our routine so first of all we got mid so we're doing something a little different than jungle feedback has been really good on the mercury video i know i saw one of the comments said hey play some zeus you never play zeus i know last time you played zeus so what i figured i'd do uh luckily oh i got Jesus. mid on the, <laughs> the first attempt first q so we are we're ready to go we're good to go i'm gonna use some chibi zeus i uh relate to the five the giant head the five heads you know it is what it is the one thing with zeus and current meta just overall that's really annoying first of all i delayed the three damage right it has that like you three and then there's a second and then it finally goes off which is weird because zeus wasn't good and that was a not good quality of life change for him it, it just made no sense but his damage is slow and delayed right you have to build up to that damage and he's a god with no mobility and no survivability so a god like zeus usually want to get the damage off instantly and you can't do that so until they change that side of his quality of life i don't know that he'll ever be like meta playable unless his damage was just so absurd or they made him tanky or like the thing a lot of people bring up is if he could move to his two like if he could dash to his two that would be uh fairly interesting i'm trying to see if my keyboard cam is good it is good got a new mouse pad it's the same mouse pad just has my logo like under the glass part of it now just pretty cool you guys want one it's a sky pad you can see the name but it's a sky pad xl 2.0 little pricey but really really cool and really high quality mouse pads are pretty big too it's it's a uh, it's nice so our team comp oh okay our team comp is actually chunky chalk tier oh, athena right. is an amazing front line it's actually like a ridiculous potential peel for the boys and really good dive um so i'll probably be looking to dive with them if we get into team fights that are actually calculated and i'm just gonna try to get pressure because if you're zeus without pressure sitting under your tower you are virtually worthless um all right well vamstrad's getting nerfed we talked about this in one of the other videos i think maybe not maybe i just talked about it on stream so vamstrad is losing uh or lost more protection or is losing more protections or something um I don't like Vam Shroud. That five damage they took away from it, the five power actually does affect your clear a good amount. So I tend to stick stay away from it. So we're looking at Sands of Time or Conduit Gem. Conduit's gonna be better all around for just clear. And then Sands of Time is gonna be better for spamming and fighting. They have a Gilgamesh and an Osiris. So I am pretty screwed in the uh, survival department. I'm gonna look and go CDR and hope we can play around this. And off of that, I'm gonna go do it into Doom Orb. Um, anytime I go Doom Orb, I absolutely want to have my, have the CDR starter. So Sands of Time into Doom Orb because you're gonna go way too long without out having any cooldown if you're building a Doom Orb. It's an expensive item. Uh, we still need another 2,300 gold to finish off the item. And really just starting with CDR is almost never a bad thing. So we're gonna go ahead and go that route. And the Doom Orb could keep us alive. I might end up going a really, really late game build here. I'm not 100% sure yet. And we're gonna start with our two let him pull away hit the thing a little bit and then we're good should insta die because we hit really hard your auto's hit for 80 hitting for 85 once fully stacked is pretty correct and we won't have clear coming in the lane so we're gonna stick to the side notice anytime especially in this current meta you need to play along the right side of the lane if you're not playing on around the, the right side of the lane you're going to get killed by these junglers that are insta rushing to the mid lane like there's there's no shot you live like if, if you're playing along that left wall they'll blink over the wall every time because you just appear to be a free gank i actually was able to secure these two which is nuts and i sold them because my chalk is a little slow which is fine we have decent clear but i still have to play back chalk doesn't have great peel or really insane damage so if any of the, the gilgamesh or the uh osiris whoever happened to be jungling wanted to dive me they could for free and it would not be fun trying to run around from a perma slow <laughs> both of them basically have perma slows and you guys know it so we'll walk over here and split with our jungler there's nothing else to do i'm gonna ping out that the jungler is rotating if the duo lane is paying attention they'll okay. see that and hopefully they won't die because our jungler didn't call it out i also have to be worry worry wary worry i have to worry i have to be wary about this jungler coming out of the jungle and killing me and i don't have a ward to place down i know my jungler's here which is dope but we just have so much clear and so much pressure See, he's playing this bad. He's looking for an invade, so I'm going to go take his jungle. Otherwise, I wouldn't even recommend splitting this because it's kind of messed up. Your jungler doesn't get enough farm. But uh, my jungler is doing some weird pathing and rotating, and it just is what it is. We have to play around it, and we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to get more farm. I didn't miss any mid XP. I don't really care that still is sitting here getting faster clear because I am getting more farm overall, which is always going to be a positive. The only other thing you can do there 
is fake a rotation to create pressure for your team and that's about it that's literally about it so there's two ability leveling orders you can go i've seen where people max the one because you two one somebody it does a lot of damage i think if you're jungling that actually has more potential than in any other role in the mid lane i just want to go my three i just want to be able to do safe damage while turning and running away um especially against their team comp a Scylla, an osiris a gilgamesh they can set up kill me super super easily so i want to make sure that doesn't happen i'm gonna to try to get some poke off which we did since we hit them we're gonna throw our three down and i'm actually gonna back here getting tier two do more is massive the movement speed it's two percent you get the little passive blah 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 people might not think it's much it is it can that little bit of movement can be the difference between you surviving or dying it's also a lot of power uh, you go from 20 power up to 55 get a little bit of mp5 online get a little bit of mana it's never a bad thing there's nothing else left to farm we might miss one or two creeps in mid if he lasts it doesn't even look like he did so we really aren't gonna miss anything we're gonna lose some gold and i don't really care about losing a little bit of gold because we've already gained that elsewhere plus we really just have a lot of pressure and control of the map with him not knowing if we're just backing and going uh going straight back to lane or rotating through the jungle he has no clue what we're doing they don't have enough vision up at this point so we'll just go ahead and play around that uh pretty much every time anytime you get a free back like that i want to rotate with chalk here because i'm five and i'm ahead duo lane just backed so no real gank potential there Scylla is a little low this is extremely greedy and i do not recommend that he's gonna back all right if he had it back there i would have done some greedy stuff to try to get a kill because this is a very slow game I was talking about earlier. I might go a super late game build. I might go do more into a staff, um, a warlock staff. Super late game. Like that means I'm gonna be stacking a lot. I don't know why we're fighting at their tier two right now without our jungler. This is crazy. Our dual lane is group up. Yes. Oh, this is huge. This is actually big. Oh, I just trolled a little bit there. I'm so sorry. I think we still kill him though. Got him. I messed up there really bad. I got a little greedy and I wanted to go for the double bounce and I didn't even hit the single bounce. So it's rough. We get a free kill there though. Our dual lane does die. Our chalk also got a kill. So could be worse. Our team was really out of position there. I could have saved my, my ADC though. I'm sure he's not happy about that. Ooh. So the ult. This is not good. We're just trying to survive. I think we're okay. Get a little bit of damage off. Unfortunately, that didn't bounce. I just want to be safe like when the enemy team gets into a w key style of play like this it's because they're frustrated and you can play around it really easily by legit making them dive like you will should only fight them if they dive right there if they want to go for a kill under the tower that's when you stand your ground but you notice the rest of the time i'm pretty much running i turn around and throw my one i see their positions back so i'm able to poke a little bit more but ideally there i just keep running i don't care about anything other than running i'm actually going to greed this and go for the next wave I have a full do more which is fantastic but there's a lot of abilities down i can almost hit eight here just come out of base uh pretty much stacked like fully fully stacked we have a whole wave cleared at that point too. get the gold on the last one as well we are one hair of xp away from level eight we have a nice little lead almost a pretty much a full level lead over Scylla with a 400 ish gold lead off of nothing off of my team being overly aggressive so you can always find wins and mini advantages off of almost anything honestly like even your team dying that means there's farm on the map for you to gain nice root i see you dude i see you he's reading me oh shit. Well, i don't have beads so this is bad this is bad oh i also <laughs> just got slam a jammed by the uh, gilgamesh dude that was smart they played that really well got a little aggressive with no wards which is dumb Where's meaning i just me walking up the tower at that point knowing the shing ten was around and he hadn't walked over the ward was pretty stupid that was not the move but you know you get comboed it is what it is probably would have died to the dive anyway now my team continuing a death ball here is not the move like really just avoid the fight there nice kill good uh i guess turn around ish at least i got something out of it this shing ten is really big really really big all right well most of our lead is actually thrown off that one death because of the way xp works right now so i'm just gonna work at getting that back i'm gonna try not to go too far off my tower without vision and make sure that doesn't happen again because they do have the uh it looks like they're in comms i think i think they're cute a couple of them are cute together so they are definitely aware of what they're trying to do 
I don't want to be overly greedy against a team that has that kind of coordination. It's nothing impressive or anything like that, but knowing they have it will change the way I plan on playing. Also, sitting on these two mana potions was a big waste. Could have had some extra gold, dude. Since they are targeting me, I am going to go the staff. I don't know if I'll regret it. I don't know, 10 minutes in, 10 minutes from now, 17 minute, 17 minute mark. I might be regretting it, but we'll see. It could really pay off. All right, see, now he's overzealous about going for a kill. They kill me once and he thinks I'm going to be on farm, which is kind of nice because that means he'll dive in. He'll go aggro mode for no reason and we can turn and fight him pretty easily. Got to maintain as much control of the map as possible since my jungler is... Uh, I'm not gonna say my jungler's bad, just really slow about rotating. Like you see his pathing right here. He's not really sure where he wants to go all the time. Try to always have an idea, no matter what role you're playing, where you want to go. Like, told you guys, man wants some kills. He wants some. Another good item this game might be a Magi's Blessing if they do target me over, like get over the top with targeting me. Not gonna go split with my jungler. We see, ooh, they're counter warding. They're gonna look for a dive on me again. I normally wouldn't even path this way. I'd have gone all the way under the tier two tower if I wanted to be smart. Enemy missing middle. <sighs> Athena rotating. Oh, okay. Look at that. They are about these fights, dude. I can't even get to him. He's running away from me. That sucks. I'm gonna take my farm. If he ran to me there. Would have helped him. You are they still ulted, I believe. Turn a bug all. I doubt they used other ults though. Ooh, we can get some damage. No. If he lets them walk out there. Oh, we got a good bounce. He's gonna live a one out though. Get my ult onto this guy. He's gonna get out. Nice. He's gonna blink. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Rough. Unfortunate. We get no kills there. They're really low. We can kill this guy. I'm gonna kill this guy. We need a chalk damage retreat. I'm very low now. Watch till it dash on me. I would cry. I'd probably cry if he dashed on me, dude. That would be a, so wild. Oh, nice. Good counter kill there. So, like I said, I want to be a little bit tankier. I don't want to deal with all this garbage. I'm looking at the wrong item tree. What is wrong with me? So, we're going into Warlock Staff. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna sell these two mana potions. It was a waste of buying. Get another ward. Chalk take a little bit of farm here. Doing red buff makes me sad mainly makes me sad because that mid wave is also going down with nobody really farming it ideally chalk farms that mid wave and then we both do red and we end up with more xp out of the uh series of farm but now we really don't that's one thing you need to learn as really anyone playing smite conquest uh, definitely junglers but there's like optimizing your pathing and your farm can help you and your team so easily dude so easily i'm gonna avoid leveling up my one at this point oh this could be really big yes he knows this guy doesn't have ward Attack. come on i'm not gonna throw my two here i'm gonna look for the osiris there we go he's full committed oh oh the, yeah dude that was that was sick i thought i had more time misplayed a little bit there i don't know where our tier was though so as much as i misplayed we really needed to be in on this fight and tier still had all and everything else up they full committed i think they are in comms I mean, that was clean. Oh, the these guys are 3 queued. I'm trolling. They're definitely in comms. I didn't realize there was three clown members. That was a really good re-engage. They have a lot of health as well, man. I mean, Osiris is sitting on a mystical male and a heavy hammer. What's he at? 2k HP. Almost double my HP right now. Both of them. Has been Almost as good All right, when you get in a game like this, and uh, really, you should just want to farm. Um... If you take any fights, if anything does happen, you need to play around the duel lane. Dealt this Dillinger dude is way ahead. Ooh, they're playing up. I still have wards. They're going to look for me. Okay. Not really sure why the overcommitment. We're good. These guys are about that life, though. I told you. They're feeling it. They see the W key. Take my free clear and dip. I'm just going to try to be safe from here on out. I pathed aggressively in that last fight thinking I had time, but you notice it's almost instant. Like I threw out my two, my one and my ult. And before I could press three, they had pretty much returned double the damage I had set up. Hadn't even done it yet. All I did was set it up almost completely worthless. We're down four kill. We're not down a lot. Every fight is still clean here. Having vision is pretty much the most important thing you can do at this point in the game. 
So I'm actually gonna ward. I think they're the fact that they're counter warding. I was counter warded at what eight minutes. So they're getting pretty stacked. She doesn't do too much damage though. I said that about Asilla. That's kind of dumb. Scylla always does too much damage, but her items aren't really enhancing it all that much, making that big of a difference. That percent pen isn't doing anything to me. I mentioned how good our dive is, and like the the dive damage potential is there instead of peel. But realistically, with how slow all of our damage is coming out, our chalk isn't really ahead early. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. Our tier is doing literally oh no it's a teleport don't go teleport in the solo lane anymore um i get it if you're running like i don't know if you're like an athena and you're playing to alt over to a different lane and then teleport right back maybe but even then you just gain so much xp out of fighting that none of that is valuable i'm gonna level my ult here they might die i'm rotating nice 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 come here what are you even doing oh my gosh i literally cannot do any damage here Got him. Oh, nope. Oh, now I got him. There we go. Damn, it just feels so slow. So it just bailed on this guy. Got him before I die. Nice job. That was a really good job from my ADC. Have you noticed he passed high here to stop the Gilgamesh and set up his ult? Caused the Gilgamesh pretty much to free die, which is nice. And now we have staff. We got a little bit of XP and gold online. I'm going to continue building damage. It is not going to be fun to be run at. At this point, there's nothing I can do besides Aegis the damage incoming and just try to pump out more damage at the same time. Or the ramp up is so unfortunate on Zeus. I like Zeus too. I don't know if any of you guys remember or even played the game back in the day. Zeus is three. It used to not be delayed like it is now. Most of you know that. But then on top of it, it used to stun. If you got three stacks on somebody, it stunned them. I think it was like one second. Like maybe it was 1.5 seconds. I don't remember. But I know it wasn't like anything crazy. It wasn't like two or three seconds. It was like 1.5 seconds. But it was massive because if you stun them with it and kept autoing them, the damage you could put out and then have your three come back up again, it was ridiculous. Like it was so like people people realized it was OP that it got to the point where you ran Zeus in the jungle by choice because it was hilarious that people could not stop you. This guy's a one level lead. He's, he's feeling himself right now. He's 100% feeling himself right now. Look at him. Look at him. I want to walk at him, but I don't know where the Gilgamesh. Oh, Gilgamesh and left. Yeah, we're about to go help. About to go help this little bit of little fight. Oh, Gilgamesh. Come on. Oh, dude, still is pumping. Taunt? Anything? No. Okay. Retreat. He's just rotating. The Gilgamesh has absolutely got to be rotating. He's probably farming. He's probably back here. I don't want to waste a word though. Gonna walk on over the slowest crack, dude. They're fighting a mid. No, 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 no. Called retreat and Athena stayed. Good peel. He's using his ult for like the threat of it going of doing something, but it's not gonna do anything. It's just working to back them off. They're going for gold now. ADC seems to know what's up. Tier, not so much. We got a soul eater tier. Okay. Bro, you literally tell people to defend gold and all they do is fucking run the wrong way. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, he lives with one health. You gotta be kidding me. That's so unfortunate. We got one of the kills. I don't really care so much that I got the kill. I care more about the fact that uh, they just live with one health like that. They're doing good damage to Scylla though. I don't want to let this dude see me yet. Oh, help. Kink. I'm here, I'm here. Bring him to me. Bring him to me, boys. I got that damage, baby. Come on, come on, come on, no, please. Nice. I'm not gonna beat this. Even if he hit me, I wasn't gonna beat this. We're just throwing out the autos. He's gonna be at one health. Oh my gosh, that sucks. I think Gilg is around. Yeah. A little bit of poke on him. We're just not doing enough damage right now, mainly because we aren't ahead like we should be at this point in the game because i got killed early and i messed up now we're a little bit ahead we're doing all right that was a good play from the team though like nobody messed up at all we just didn't have enough damage i mean maybe one more auto hit here or there from me or from the adc or really anybody even if tier hit an auto on that dude he was dead which sucks tier getting a little bit of xp which is nice i'm caught up to scylla uh, question is 
So I wanna hold out for rod or go into coin for a little bit more movement and really the pen. I mean, they're stacking, but yeah, we're gonna go into the pen. So always, when you get to a point like that where you could go, I could easily farm out the rod. Look at the items the enemy team is building uh, to determine sometimes your build order. This dude has magic defense, right? Like he's, he's pretty tanky. He's a little bit ahead. He's a magic defense. The jungler building magic defense. The Shing Ten building a second magic defense item. Really like a two and a half magic defense items. So it's a little scary if you don't have pen at that point in the game, honestly. Like I'm not gonna be able to kill the front line and they're gonna be very annoying to me. So we're gonna go straight for the good pen. I almost walked in front of him, which would have been really bad. Nice job, dude. He's fragging. Ooh. Oh, she dashed. She dashed. I'm gonna counter ward here and then maybe go on her. Her dash will be right back up. But I could kill her. Ooh, never mind. Bad kill. I cannot go for that. <laughs> if I go on him, Gilgamesh is gonna kill me. That's a big death. Our tier is also gonna die. I'm just gonna hold mid lane. Nice job on the Osiris, at least. Sucks our ADC died because she's kind of important right now. She's doing a lot. Not exactly carrying, but pretty damn close, dude. Oh, I'm not gonna eat that shit. I'm just gonna walk away from this. I'm not gonna waste my ult yet. Okay. I don't really know what's going on here, but uh, they just got punished. The dude actually just kind of got styled on. I don't know. I think he was confused about where I went. That was so weird. He just stood still all the way in the air. We're gonna go to a rod here. This is gonna be an insanely expensive build. But at this point, with how close the game is, it seems it's gonna go the length, like it'll go the full distance. And if I get to the point where I have Rod online, I will pump damage. We have good pen right now too, 30% this early in the game. No flat pen. I'm not stressing over it too much. Not gonna worry about it. I think my red had fallen off there too. That Ching, they're not Ching Ten. The Gilgamesh is way over the top with that. Like, look at his build. He's got a frustrating build. The runic shield. Ooh, ooh, taunt, 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 taunt. Nice. Trying to get my three up. Boom. Big damage. He's in a terrible position. Honestly, he's kind of been getting farmed. He's their homie and he's been neglected. They were really worried about me. They were a little worried about Tyr. <laughs> but they just left their homie out to feed. This build's kind of bad too. I'm not going to lie. Oh, come on, bro. I'm not even tanking. So this doesn't matter. It doesn't have anything up, dude. Good damage, good return damage. I didn't have beads up to even waste. I would, I don't think I would have wasted them because I didn't hit them with any damage. I knew I wouldn't take the tower. I'm ahead of Selena, which is beautiful. Look, they they got so comfortable with fighting that they're still forcing bad fights, even though we're actually grouped up and they have deaths. Just dumb. I'm gonna push her. I'm committing to this, even if he kills the wave. We got it for free. He wants to root me. All right. Oh. Ah, he got scared. <laughs> he, oh, wow. An aggressive dash there is a little questionable. I'm down to fight this. Notice the positioning between me and the ADC. We want to stay near each other, but not right on top of each other. And we see our teams winning the poke battle. We also know this guy wants to rotate under us. Big damn, big damn, big damn. They're super low. I used my ult there to make sure they couldn't keep fighting after the sub ult if he were to hit it and do some damage. I didn't really care about fully comboing one person with it there and killing them. Just getting off a little bit of damage is helpful. This ADC is free farm. He's dead. Would have been cool to get the, the kill, slain. but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. Free fire giant, I think, at this point. If you're a mage player on a fire giant for the love of everything in this universe make sure like basically insta rotate your abilities like insta use them and then have them coming back up for the secure i might have just put myself in a bad position i think i'm okay though i don't know if they actually want to fight this i think we win it look at that warded dude oh no this is bad no the stun i get my three off rough i did as much damage as i could that was a good dive the Scylla had a really good engagement there to be honest Huge ult, one health, nice. Good job, boys. Good job, gamers. Almost has rod as well. We, I, I shouldn't have helped here. That tier was dead. I knew he was dead. I should have gone to farm and played it the smart way. I could be level 20 right now and getting my, my extra CDR. But it is what it is. Team still cleaned up. This guy is slapping, bro. I, as much as I hate Cribdis, I don't hate Cribdis. It's a lie. 
Krivdis needs quality of life changes to the ultimate and the one if you guys don't know it actually later in the like basically as you build your items up your you get your crit online you get your kins online your one causes them to do less damage um cyclone spin one of the pro players was explaining in my chat one day so i didn't even know it worked like that um but yeah so the one isn't actually that great late game which is awkward nice job nice to care and then the uh the ultimate just taking so long absolutely needs to hit, get some quality of life changes like there, there's no way she should be lasting as long i know it's because her win rate isn't that bad but i honestly think her win rate isn't that bad because of how strong adcs are and then when this next patch hits she's gonna be exposed for not being like that great i don't have my one up nice good game this i want to fight him i just don't want to get double rooted i wish he had blink dude i can't get to him i don't have beads so i can't go up too far wow Nice one. Couldn't get to him, rough. I really wanted to kill this still there. So we have Rod online now. I'm just gonna play around that. I'm gonna clear this and dip. He wants to fight me. He knows I don't have actives. These guys have been really good about their active control, honestly. Like timers-ish or just really communicating that something had just been used. Cause anytime somebody doesn't have beads, they're Shing Ten just running at them and figuring it out, dude. Look at this. The quadra blink synergy. Ugh. That's fill oh Scylla did blink I was wondering how she got there so fast gonna be easy kills though like if you you've noticed I kind of make sure I oh dude leave me alone I can't be my three I can't hit the ground bro he's so low nice these guys are obsessed with me at this point I live for a long time but I cannot hit the ground ping ponging off the walls thrown up in there by Shing Ten goodness gracious for nothing for nothing no objective i wasn't doing anything crazy nothing for no reason i'm top damage now hey i'll take that four deaths a little over the top we're fighting for nothing now too i just i just gave them shit for killing me in the lane with no objective in mind now we're doing the same shit oh why is our crimness hitting more ults than their scylla pretty sad to think about he is sl they're, they're ignoring this guy I mean, I know my team is low, but they're letting this guy free farm. I kind of oh, watch for the root. Nice, good Aegis. An ally has been slain. Oh, it's here. Get a knock up. Could have been big. Could have been big. So gold's down. Pyro's respawning. I have wards. I'm gonna go raid the red. Try to secure it. Hopefully, it's still there and I don't get invaded by another Gilgamesh. And spectral armor. Interesting. Interesting. He's really playing that like hybrid thing to the max full dive yeah i'm gonna get this red and then i'm gonna set up around fire giant have full alt now just need a little bit more gold to get our starter and we're chilling get this going yeah they, they know it's time for fire it's 25 minutes this is probably your average time in like a normal game to be doing the big objectives but honestly like this should be happening way earlier i just missed my two don't don't look at that look away look away i'm gonna drop my regular ward here so it has a lower chance of being counter warded i want to counter ward but i'm not walking up until my team's here i don't want to waste actives trying to get a ward up that they're just going to kill anyway so we're going to relax for a second drop this blue for our homies and we're going to play up he just counter warded which is beautiful so i could hold this or i could go up and aggressively uh ward i want to play this oh, unfortunate they have a really good team fight in the jungle by the way like a really really good jungle team fight and secure this boom got it would have been smart if shock actually played that better to be honest oh he's in a really bad spot i think he just dies oh my gosh bro what is wrong with you i three he's not gonna hit on him oh fell off too soon this guy's obsessed with me man he just left here hanging i should back smart thing to do here is back and heal i'm gonna stay though I'm gonna, when, when you do this you have to be very you have to try to be very smart and patient play this angle or something disengage i'm probably gonna get run down here but i kept my adc alive somewhat they're gonna get fire for free they have a lot they pulled us really far apart there which is smart they get that for free i want this i want this so bad they're gonna get red fire i'm just gonna sit in base if we were to try to run there we wouldn't make it there in time and then we'd end up running in and dying so be stupid anyway mark team's on the wrong side of the map 
<laughs> How does this even happen, dude? They gotta know they're on fire, right? They've gotta know. Yeah, there's the fire kill. Hey, we got it off Gilgamesh. Was dope. I don't know why we chased him across the map instead of staying at fire, but uh, okay. I think someone's a little upset. He's spaghetti at the Gilgamesh, even though he's running at me. I'm the one who should be tilted. My tear is not about it. I mean, he did get farmed a little bit. His build is so bad, by the way. Please don't do this to yourselves, guys. Like, this sustain isn't changing anything. You've already got a, more than enough built in sustain as tier. And you're so squishy with it. This doesn't work on your one, by the way. Rune Forge passive is not effective on your one. High res has already noted that. And people have tested it. So this is worthless. I'm going to tell him. I don't know. Tier rune doesn't work on your one. So you know. Um, Yeah, this guy's just a heavy damage. Load. I mean, I guess if they ignore him, doesn't matter either way. But he definitely could have been maxed a whole lot better. <sighs> now we got to play defense and I got to play back and be scared. I'm going to try to find this, uh, this Gilgamesh before I do anything. If I see him, I'm fighting. If I don't see him, I'm just going to hide. Okay, we're going, another, we're going safe. Have red buff. Oh no, Athena, save your taunt. We're here for you, buddy. We're here for you, buddy. Unfortunately, I have no clear. We have good CC, honestly. Like, it's not insane, but it's good enough between the tier and the, the Athena as long as they're hitting them back to back. There it is, dude. All right, this is where it gets bad. Gilgamesh is in here, actually. We can fight this. We can fight this. What is that, dude? I don't know what's happening. The Aegis came out. Got a good three. We got a lot of damage on. Didn't hit anyone Scylla, though, which sucks. So I'm going to stay away from the Scylla. Oh, there he is. Alright. He is so tanky. Oh, okay, he's not that tanky. I got him. He's not that tanky, boys. Let's go, W key boy. Oh, this is beautiful. I didn't think he'd have his ult up. I should be able to get my three off here. Yeah. He did a lot of damage there. I still don't know where Scylla is. There's a free kill. Not Tears on Phoenix. No! Phoenix just level one health. Oh my gosh. Why do we have a split pushing tier? Bro, imagine I did that as a video, like oh, try to win without fighting at all, only split pushing. My team would be tilted unless I did it with friends, but I bet you we could do that. I bet you I could play something with a Hydra's or just play a straight up Hunter and just avoid fights all day, Apollo or Chernobog or something and just run away from every fight and still be able to get Phoenixes and win the game. All right, question is, what would you round out this build with? Because you don't need more percent pen. There's no value there. Soul Reaver is really good. We're missing out on 10% CDR. So ideally, I think Soul Gem is what I will build. It will add to the burst as well. Um, usually build that a little earlier, but I went for a heavy. I said I was going to an expensive build. Just wanted to go for it. So this will get us what we want. With Red Potion, we will have full CDR. We'll have, what do we have? 30% pen. Good health. Like we're kind of chilling a lot of damage i'm gonna clear this mid wave i'm gonna be late to the fight just for doing this i don't have actives though and i really don't want to fight fire giants up i i don't like this that we're chasing with no vision no wards no wards at all we all have wards we are oh we found him yes the homie found him okay, this is interesting oh. An enemy has been slain. unfortunately i didn't get the bounce the Scylla bounce over here sucks these guys are, are so are frustrating leave me alone nice i missed i'm trolling can't miss if uh, oh what the hell thank you i just wanted to keep him in combat if you want for bleed dude this is nuts nice leave me alone leave me alone dude I don't think he's gonna kill that guy. Yo, just just go here. Why am I so good at the turn around, just turn around, please. Please just turn around, Athena. Athena, please. If he just turns around the guy, this guy's dead for sure. Oh no. No, no, no. Did they do fire? Did not respawn yet. 
Because I, I, I mentioned we were grouping around 25 minutes. This is really greedy, by the way. I have my Athena around. Oh, it's not even up. Damn, dude. Watching 10 have done my red. That'll make me... I'll be the upsetty spaghetti at that point. Nice job on the pyro kill. Nice, he didn't do red. We're chilling. Free red. We have red potion as well. So I'm gonna back and get that. This tier is all about this fire giant, apparently. Attack. All right. Full CDR, we're online. We have a thousand magic power with red buff, no fire giant. We're kind of cracked. We're actually kind of cracked. We have good. We have a really good fight right now. Our chalk is full builds. I'm not, not really too fond of all the build, but that is what it, oh, there it is. This guy, man, who hurt him? Why is he looking for me? I'm warding over here, dude. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, man. I'm warding over here too. I don't want this guy to know what I'm doing, where I am, who I am, none of that shit. Bro, leave me the fuck alone. He just solo ulted me. I know my ADC. What the? Where does his health go? All right, well, that's bad because if we keep track of that, I'm gonna get fucked up. Oh, there it is. There it is. He's looking for the loop these loop -dees. All right, this is rough. Like they kind of just walking at us because our Athena can't go in. Our Athena needs a back and ult in. Oh, he doesn't have ult. He needs the back and just heal then. Nothing else he could do. I'm gonna try to hold my three for this guy to dash out. Got him. Bro, just leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything to you. He actually does a lot of damage there. Hopefully our ADC can clean up. Our whole team's alive, actually. We're chilling. Nice job. Silla, though, super scary. We can't pull objective knowing where Silla, without knowing where Silla is. Oh, sometimes you just have to play like this. If you are, like, hard-focused by enough people, um, this is what you have to deal with. You don't have a beads to run away. You kind of just have to pump out as much damage and make sure your team isn't taking damage because of you. There isn't a lot I did right there, but ideally, if you are able to move at all, don't run them straight into your team. Keep the distance. Pump out as much damage as you can. Don't die running away, not doing damage. I don't know if I'll get fire. Maybe they'll wait. I'm hoping they wait for me. So they can wait for me to spawn and get fire giant. Scylla's in the base. With me. Homies, dude. I love it. Absolutely amazing. And now we have enhanced fire too. So this game should be over. We could literally walk in and kill the Phoenix for free. I don't know if Chalk realized that right there. He's probably just worried about dying and doesn't want to int, which is always the smart call. Should be pretty damn free right about now. So in these team fights, I know they're running at me. You know they're running at me. We already know this Gilgamesh. Uh, he, I don't know if he has some heat seeker like shit for me or what, but this man is going to find me. There's no doubt about it. He's going to find me. I'm just gonna take it. I'll do my best. If Shing Tang's blinking on me and ultimately there's nothing I can do about that either. Uh, I can try to hide and be off the, the map completely forever. But at that point, it's kind of pointless. We do enough damage now, especially with enhanced fire, that I'm just going to eat it. I'm waiting for my beads to be up before I go into any fight. Uh, luckily, they're up right now, so I'm chilling. Won't have Aegis for this one, which sucks. Is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, is that a position? You have a taunt? Oh, yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Yeah, he's dead. You have slain Easy, dude. Free 700 damage. So he just threw. That's the game. If that ever happens like you see me get frustrated especially on stream when my teammates die like that like why are you out of the base when you know they're about to be pushing for phoenix that's dumb because you literally lose the game for your team like the game is over Ooh. he wants to focus on mm, there it is ah we got him this time boys we got him this time boys let's go nice gg that good dude my my boys the squad just dove the shit out of that Scylla that Scylla didn't have a chance watch me get watch us all get thrown into the base by Shinkan and die that would suck oh oh no are they good oh they're good I'm just gonna try to end the game <gasps> end the game end the game end the game GG oh control uh, uh, uh. 
There we go. Now he is in the game. Top damage. He went for me one last time, but you can't go for me at that point in the game. I have too much power. I have my actives up. He was so alone that as soon as his kick didn't do any damage, he was done. He was fried. I don't know why he was so obsessed with me. I, I nothing happened early for him to want to run at me like that the whole game. I was I, I was uh, I was I was something. Let me tell you. That was something. Let's check this damage. Check these numbers. We pumped. I told you we were playing for that late game, which we did. Final fight's free. VVGG. Please don't run at me again, Gilga. It hurts. <laughs> That's actually really frustrating. Like, this man did 30,000 damage W King at me with that build. There's still a did nothing late game. Wow. Wow. He was actually doing so well in that game. 37 wards. You can't see the still damage. Sorry, it's 23k. Uh, he only did 23,000 damage, which is wild because the, the ADC even did more than him. He did 28. He almost got out damage by Shink then. 37 wards? Oh my gosh. My team must have been diving that still like a beast. I don't know. I have no idea. Woo. All right. So there's our Zeus game. Whoever, uh, I, I, I really wish I could remember the commenter's name. Thank you for requesting it. I will throw your name up here. You'll get your shout out. Don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you down. Um, let me know what God you guys would like me to do the next video on or play in the next video. Hope you guys liked it. It was fun playing mid and not having a stomp game, to be honest. It was so, like a lot of the times that happens is I'll get in the mid roll and either my team loses almost instantly. Like I'm talking 10 deaths in five minutes or our juggler gets like a triple kill and the game's just over. Like we just stomp. I'm glad I got to have a full real game because those are really it's fun. It's fun getting the late game and having a good team fight. Um, please hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Remember one video a day every day. So find the video yesterday's video. Uh, what was it? Sugiyomi was solid. We had that Mercury with the Pentakill game. That was solid. Go check those out. I'll see you all in the video later today. Well, I guess not later today. I guess I'll see you in the video tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day.